suitless ball. In this video, I'd like to give you some instructions how you can perform properly the slam variations. I'm going to show you some of my favorite slam variations and then we will break it down. Standing slams. Slams from knees or knee slams. The counter slams. Snatch, curl, snatch, slam. Curl, snatch, slam. Low squat slams. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see the position. And you can do lateral half slam. You can do scissor slams. And I can go on and on and on, but I like to stop right here. Ha, I got winded. Okay, I need to stop right here and give you some instructions how you can perform correctly these slams if you cannot copy what I just did. So if you cannot copy what I just show you, because some people copy right away, but if you don't, then here what you need to pay attention. If your ball doesn't bounce back up, that means you did not have the following, the following techniques here. First, the stand position. Legs shoulder width apart, legs slightly bent. You have to pay attention how you set up your handles. Your handles have to be, you see, like in a horizontal position. Basically, I used to say, I say uh, shoulder press, almost like you're performing shoulder press on the barbell. Pretty, pretty similar motion. The second thing you need to know, or oh, sorry, the next thing you need to know is that you have to watch where you are slamming that ball. You cannot close your eyes and just, you just, perform the slam you have to watch so the first thing I need to do I want you to pay attention I'm gonna just drop that ball inside this target I want to try to be exactly on the middle and I'm not worried about getting the ball back now I want to make sure I'm watching where I'm dropping the ball and I want to make sure if I'm your coach watching I want to make sure you are dropping that ball exactly on the center, not on the side of this, this slam mat, okay? You have to be inside the target. As soon as you perform this drill, then the next thing I would like you to do is to, to use a force and apply and try to get the ball up. But before you do that, another, another little instruction I need to give you. You have to go all the way down. You have to bring your hands all the way down. Where I say, between your knee and your ankle. And you have to apply force. Otherwise, this is not a ping pong. It's not gonna bounce back. So I hope you follow me now. Watch. Horizontal legs, shoulder width apart, slightly bent. Watch where you're hitting and apply force. I'm not even applying my full power here. I'm just doing it so I can show you. I, I feel that I, I have a lot of experience with this ball. I just want to show you that if you have a correct technique, 
you'll be able to perform without even maximum effort. I want to show you a couple variations, a couple, a uh, couple reps where I'm applying full force, and a couple variations first when I'm, I'm just doing it without the force. Now without the force, watch. And now with the force. You see the difference? And that's how you're gonna get your workout when you put yourself into these intervals of 30 seconds to one minute or even longer. I'm using a ball that says speed. I'm going to give you another important instruction. The ball comes with two pairs of handles. Longer, which I mostly will recommend for the advanced athletes or after you, you master these slam variations that I just show you. Or if you, if you are struggling to get the ball up, use the shorter handles. They're a couple inch shor shorter, but it can help. Now, if you if you not cannot if you cannot get the ball up with the shorter handles, what I will recommend make it even shorter. Shorter. Make these long long handles or short handles even shorter by untying these connectors. And take one part of the strap and run it through the connector. Don't make it too tight because I guarantee you that very soon you're going to be able to perform these slams. And I'll tell you in a second why I'm recommending this, this technique here. It's because most of the time what I've seen from my, from my coaching and, um, and, pract and practical sessions working with, with people who never, never worked, never had experience with these balls, are they are not bringing their hands, their arms all the way down. And, and that's when, when the ball could, could spin. And if you're using this variation, you kind of have to learn, you're going you're gonna to feel that you have to bring your, your arms all the way down or your hands. So see what I did? I folded it and I, I was able to make these handles a lot, a lot shorter. Now, by using this technique, see, it's very simple. You can grab it this way, like that. Make sure the handles are centered well, okay? Again, everything is the same. Leg shoulder width apart. Set up the ball. Now you have to go all the way down. You still have to watch where you're hitting the ball. You have to watch at the target. So, ready, go. You see, I was able to bring my hands down because I just have no no chance to stop here and, and it's it's instead of giving you too many instructions I created this progression that you can you can try and go and, uh, and start feeling it on your own what do you need to do here okay so if you're not bringing your hands all the way down this is what's gonna happen with your slam see how I have twisted handles. It's because I did not bring my hands down. I stopped right here. And sometimes, even the ball can hit you in the head, but don't worry. It's not gonna injure you, but it's not fun, of course. It's just maybe it's gonna wake you up. <laughs> okay, now watch again. See, the ball almost hit me in the face. Why? because I stopped here and I also I didn't use my legs. You might want to try also, for some people is working, to try to go down on the knees. I always, I always felt that the standing slam is for 
the easiest variation but if you if you feel like you're not bringing your hands low enough and you're applying the power but you are stopping too soon then you might want to try this variation going down on your knees because now it will be a lot easier for me to bring my arms down or my hands down Breathing is also very important, especially when you start training these intervals. You have to breathe. On the way down, as you're performing the slam, you exhale. On the way up, inhale. Make it like a machine gun. Have fun and come back and watch my next video because in the, my next video, I'm going to talk about how you are in, how you can implement the supless ball slams with your workouts for strength and conditioning including other equipment. And that will be very very beneficial for you to see to see how to structure your workout and use the slam intervals to get your heart rate up before you go to your, your strength set or your strength station. Thanks for watching.